It's my first time to visit the International Rice Research Institute and we met Melinda. Gave us a tour at the International Rice Gene Bank. Apparently it's the only one in the world. And um, we wanted to help her. She needed help on how to maximize her investment on biking. She's been doing triathlon, but she's having problems with her posture, clipping and clipping, always falling down. And hopefully today, we're gonna be able to fix her. So first part is we wanted to see how she would be riding. It's part of her assessment. The way she rides will give us an idea, the root causes of all her problems. Number one, numb fingers, lower back pain, neck pain, unable to clip and, and clip, and just generally a hard time trying to climb. So we're gonna fix it today. Okay, so this is the uh, quick assessment. Maybe you'll, you can relate to Melinda's situation. Okay, so this part over here to this point over here, it's too far. So this distance, this distance is too far. Because it's so far, it's going to give her numb fingers, lower back pain, and she's going to end up having to use all her quads to compensate for the long reach from her hips all the way to the brake hoods. And usually, when she's tired, the body's natural reaction is to slide her hands backward. So where do you normally hold your bike when you're tired? Good. So according to Melinda, when she's tired, her default is here. So if you can relate to Melinda, maybe that's the best solution to relieve the neck pain, the numb hands, and the lower back pain. So what she just did subconsciously is correct. So what you just did is absolutely correct. The problem is when she's going downhill now and she has to hold on to the hoods, she's going to have she's gonna have numb hands and her forearms are gonna cramp and next thing you know she can't break anymore and that leads to overshooting a, a corner and it's just a domino effect so the first thing that we have to do is number one check her cleat position change her position on the hoods to make her use her core right now so you notice she keeps on adjusting her posture on the saddle because she's trying to look for that zone or that posture that would give her, well, <clears throat> absolute comfort, but it's not gonna happen. Very nice. Can you hold on to your drops? Okay, just hold on, very nice. Can you hold on to your hoods again? And then 90 degree elbow, lower. So if you notice, this is too far for her. So she's gonna have to struggle maintaining this 90 degree elbow because it's gonna burn her triceps. Her triceps are gonna burn so hard, she's never gonna be able to maintain this for more than one minute. Okay, straighten up your elbow. Very nice, okay. So from that five minute window, we learned so much about you. So now we know what to do, okay? So we're gonna start adjusting the bike. You're done. You can get off the bike. Okay. Next step will be, I'm gonna adjust your bike now, okay? Very nice, slowly. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the bike now based on what she already has without having her buy anything. One of the things that influences her pedaling is the position on her cleats. So we're gonna try to adjust this and let's see after the fact of doing this, we can make her uh, ride differently. Okay, okay here we go. Okay, so we're, bar we're done with the bike fit part. Uh, we had to adjust everything to put Melinda on the right posture. So we're talking about posture right now, it's not about uh, the bike fit. Okay, so we're gonna start in uh, two minutes. So Melinda's gonna... Okay, Melinda, that's the alarm. So now we're gonna start climbing. Hold on to the hoods, trigger fingers. No, no, not like that. There you go, that's how you recall. Exactly like that, exactly these fingers, exactly, yeah, exactly like that. Do not control the bike using your arms. Very good. Straight. 
Now start engaging the other muscles, which are the obliques. And how do you do that? Go down. Lift. Remember to lift up, huh? Just keep that going. Elbows together. Like really squeeze the elbows together. There you go. Okay, that's impressive. In 20 seconds, we're gonna go to the flats. Maintain the same posture, okay? In 20 seconds, we're gonna go to the flats. In 15 seconds, we're gonna go to the flats. Let's see if you can still time trial after a long climb. Remember, this is your 20th minute climbing, huh? 20th minute climbing, biggest rings more. Four, three. Now we're gonna go to the flats. Keep on going, keep on going. Push down, lift up. A little bit faster, I wanna hear that. Lower the elbows, lower. There you go. Pull those elbows downwards. Beautiful, now you're time trialing. Remember, in time trialing, to gain faster speed, smaller frontal surface, surface area. area. I'm gonna showcase to you what you look like on the quarter view, huh? Just keep that going. This is your quarter view. Remember, squeeze your elbows together. There you go. The more that you squeeze your elbows together, the more that you can produce more torque from your no, chest. No, just, just, this is just a sprint. Just pull it down. 10, nine. On my cue, you're gonna start sprinting, okay? Here we go. On my cue, elbows together. Last part, ready, set, go, 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 go. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Okay, well, supposedly you should be dead by now. But you notice, after 20 minutes of climbing, time trialing, and finishing it with a sprint, let's just test. As soon as you're ready, in 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, get off the bike. Just try to feel your legs. Okay. Supposedly, you should have like jello legs. But yeah, you would know. Get off the bike. You seem like you're run walking straight. <laughs> but you feel okay. I feel okay. But the, the, the shoes are very tight. Well, but that's the idea. But the most important thing is the quads. You don't have jello legs, right? Okay, so. We had to make the most of what you have. We didn't change any part. So that saved you a lot of cash. <laughs> but the way you're pedaling right now is totally different. The way you are climbing is totally different. So next step, we ride Jamboree. No. You'll be surprised how easy yeah, it is. You will. you will be surprised, you're okay? Way stronger than you. Realize. Okay. So from here on, you're going to have your buffet. Welcome to IRRI. Give me a fist pump. You've been a good student, you learn fast, okay? So that's SIPO for you. Insert Medicine for the Sustainability Mobility for All program in 2016. It was later adapted as a UN resolution in 2018, giving the world a chance to participate in this green movement. Everyone, including us here at Erie. So it's a good example of how a scientist's personal advocacy was able to change. Thank you again, uh, IRRI, for World Bicycle Day. Thank you very much. We'll okay. give you five stars. Five <laughs> stars, okay? Five stars. Thank you. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you in a bit. Four, three. Okay, we'll okay. book later again, huh? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Come with me And you'll be In a world of pure imagination Reach out, touch what was once Just in your imagination don't be shy, it's alright If you feel 
a little trepidation. How traumatic! I told that you, like even driving a car, I don't want to drive in Jamboree. Driving a car, I don't want to drive in Jamboree. Cause it's too steep. And we finished last night at eight. Eight. What time? We got home at nine thirty. Ah, oh, nine nine o'clock. Well, so after a few hours, today is uh, going to be your test. I think Jamboree is one of one of the challenging yes. roads in UPLB. It's extremely challenging. Extremely challenging. Why extremely challenging? Because it's so hard to get up even even when I'm driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a car. How many percent is that, do you think? I don't know. Something I don't want to know. I don't wow. think it's 30. 10% and those switchbacks? Around 18, 20. 20% 20 gradient? Yes. Ah, okay. So if, if we can make you climb a 20% grade... It's 20%. We only did 10%. Then uh, we uh, do a high five and uh, job well done, huh? Yeah? Okay. okay. Let's so, talk about it after. So what you gotta do, you have to ride beside me. Just, just follow my instructions. The rest of the guys will make sure that the traffic behind you is clear. Okay? okay. So you don't have to worry about clipping and clipping. If they say, coach, everything clear here, we just go straight. And then from here, we warm up. Hey bro, and then go straight to Jamboree. Okay, a little bit of a reviewer. The way you hold the hoods is very important. When I say trigger finger, I mean when I say two fingers down, like this, right? Yes. When I say trigger finger, like this. Ah, okay. And then really go down. You know the oh, idea? Okay. Really go down and move forward on the Apuntan side. Jamburi, eh. When the gradient is so really wobbly. Really so so when, I say, when, when you hear me say, move forward on the saddle now, this is the so automatic posture. Exactly like that. Exactly what you saw in the video. Have you seen the video? I did. Okay, so you just repeat that over and over again. Everything that you learned last night, we have to apply today. Yeah? As an emergency, now that your shoes are taped, when I say unclip two legs, unclip two legs just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, Mel. Okay. Gain the confidence, so Tito Glenn's gonna guide us. Slide back on the saddle, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna try to teach you how to change gears. Just follow my instruction when I say one gear up, one gear down, okay? It doesn't really clip. Yes. Okay, clear. We're gonna turn left. Ah, I mean straight, straight, sorry. Okay. One more gear up. Yeah. One more. One more. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Very nice. Uh, what? No. That's that's later. 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 Today is not all about the stats, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. Hold on to the hoods exactly like this. Yep. Two, two fingers down. There you go. No. That's your old style. Oh, no. yeah. There you go. Wanna, okay. Ah, later! No, don't worry about the watch. Today is all about your posture. I know you want data. Okay? You have to start having fun, not not numbers, okay? Just for today. Just for today. <laughs> You're already having fun, huh? I can see it in your face. Yeah. Okay. So today is all about you focusing on your posture, not your data. Later! <laughs> When we stop, okay? Just focus now because I need to watch how you ride. Very good. Straighten your elbow. Someone punch you in the tummy. Very good. You look so much more better now, okay? Very nice. And this a few hours after the bike fit last night. 6 o'clock a.m. now. Very good. Very nice. Going. So far, so good. Your posture is good. So far, so good. I like it. Okay. Good form. Good form. Good form. Later, the watch. <laughs> it's your fault. I know it's my fault. I know it's my fault. <laughs> 
the first few opening kilometers are done at slow motion to uh, make sure that Mel does not focus on speed or anything that she wanted to be recorded on her watch. I think uh, she's into the culture of data. There's nothing wrong with data, but sometimes during the biomechanics program, it's all about making you understand how your body moves first. The speed and the performance will be a result of uh, perfecting your posture, your technique, and your execution. So we just had to make sure that Melinda is reminded of this objective before she panics. Use those tapes, huh? Very good. Can we just try? Just try. Two gears down. One, two. Heavier. And then 90 degree elbow. Press your wrist on the handlebar. Press it. Yeah. Start pedaling. Start pedaling. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's it. Yeah. Press it. Yeah. Press it. Press your handlebar. There you go. A little bit more. Very good. Just squeeze them, okay? Squeeze them. Squeeze it. Use your pinky to shift down. One gear down. Pinky, pinky. Yeah, that's it. Squeeze down. Lower, lower, lower. Lower. Yes, lower. No, lower your elbows. That's okay, that's okay. We just want to try. We just want to try. Lower your elbows. The lower, the better. Use your core. Five, four, three, two. Recover. How do you recover? Straighten up. There you go. Three gears up. One, two, three. Morning. Morning. That's it, just scrape and lift up. I like the way you're holding the hoods. Two fingers underneath. The other two fingers a little bit higher than that. Very good. Keep on going. The more that you keep your knees together, better. The more that you drop your heels, better. Always remember that every pedal stroke counts, okay? You're doing good. I'm impressed. Very nice. Easy, steady. So this is the time where you start practicing your scrape and lift up, okay? Because we're slow anyway, so just scrape and lift up for now. So you gotta make sure that you stay beside me or behind me as close as possible okay and then you see your hands twist them inside there you go okay I like the way you're holding that bike right now just scrape and lift up very nice just and lift. one gear up this is too heavy no that's heavier one more okay so you're gonna learn how to shift gears based on the gradient okay now go to my right 
Yeah, there's no shade. Go to my right. A. It's a slight uphill, it's four wheel drive, push down, lift up, okay? Good. I'm going. Scrape, lift. So it doesn't matter what speed, as long as you activate the right muscles. Don't swing around, stay steady. So we're gonna do those 20% pitches, those 20% exactly how you were doing it a while ago. Tip of the saddle, go as low as possible. Anyway, we're here. Okay? You have no choice. Imagine you've just done the 18% and you said it's a little bit difficult, but now you've done it smoothly yeah. and you're not even dead yet. The only thing that's killing you is really the nerves of you overthinking. When you don't overthink, you look like an angel. Yep. Climbing up. And I'm not joking. Move. I already look like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, take note. Hold here at the top. Move forward on the saddle. Oh my god, now this we're going to go up. Yeah, 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 we're going to go up. It's 20%. You got this. Okay, let's just try. We're here already. You've already done better. If you can conquer this 20%, 18%, I don't care what percent. Yeah, like... With the right posture. And whenever I shout to you, Mel, that's too fast. Trust me, it's too fast. Even if it's just 0.5 kilometers per hour faster, it's too fast. It's gonna raise your heart rate. Now you're starting to learn how to manage effort, how to select the gears, and now after all those rides, you're st still fine. Okay? Now it's an uphill. You have to move forward on the saddle. Move forward. There you go. Push down, lift up. Very good. Easy, steady. Elbows together. Okay. Higher hands on the hoods. Yep. There you go. Just move forward on the saddle. No cars behind you, okay? Just keep it steady. Very good. Elbows together. Press it down. Don't hesitate. You gotta commit. Good climb. The more that you squeeze your elbows together, the more that you bring them down, the more that you can generate torque. Good form. Okay, impressive. Just keep it going. Just keep it steady. Lower and then recover. Straighten up. That's the sequence, okay? And then turn off the quads. Turn off the quads. Just scrape and lift up. Okay, you follow instructions really well. Okay, very good. Try to feel this, okay? Memorize this. Higher at the back, at the back. Shift, 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 shift. All the way up. All the way up. The back. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. There you go. Steady. Okay, just stay there. Very nice. So we're gonna do this correctly, yeah? Push down, lift up now, but stay exactly like that. Exactly that posture, good. Drop your heels, push down, lift up. Hold on to the hoods, trigger finger. There you go. Beautiful. One gear up. 
One more. No, no, no. Easier, easier gear. Some more. All the way up. All the way up. There you go. It's easy. Now hold on to the hoods at the highest part. Pull the levers downward. There you go. Beautiful. Elbows together. The slower, better, okay? okay That's it. Stay on the right side of the road. Do not panic. Elbows together. Good. I'll be beside you. Lower is better, okay? Very good. That's it. Push down, lift up, not sprint. I'm just saying, just use those muscles. Push down, lift up. Good. Gradient, Tom. 16%. Not bad. Drop your heels. There you go. Now, I like the way you're holding the hoods. Exactly like that, huh? One pinky down. Very nice. Elbows together. Knees together. Easier. Almost done. On my cue, when I tell you to move forward in the saddle, move forward, okay? We're almost there on the summit. Stay on the white line on the right. Okay. There you go. So far, so good. I like it. Easier than that. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Easy. Elbows together. Elbows together. Good. I love it. Let's try to survive this by doing it one pedal stroke at a time. 18%. Very good. While you're pushing down on the pedal, you're also pulling the bars towards your tummy. Very good. Excellent work. So far so good here at Jamboree Road right now. Ongoing. Mel, I don't know. I've never seen you climb before, but you look, make it look like you've been climbing forever. This is good for me. I'm not joking. Huh? So just focus on this posture. Drop your heels. Huh? The power comes from your Achilles. Everything starts on the way you hold the hoods. If you don't hold it like that, you're not going to be able to engage the other muscle groups. So right now, you're doing very, very good. Very nice. Just focus on the road ahead. We talk later on what you felt, okay? But from my perspective, you are now in control. Unlike before, you would panic. The more that you keep your knees together, the more that you're going to be using your inner thigh muscles. Okay, congratulations. You achieved the first summit. I'm sorry. Very good. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni, man. Excellent work, huh? Good form. So far, so good. You've survived the first summit to finish. Keep it going. Keep it going doing good so when we reach the switch back that's when you really move forward tip of the saddle okay that's when you really go to the tip of the saddle right now whew, you look smooth not speed huh exactly like that do not use your quads yet if you can spin it using your hamstring do that too fast too fast too fast girl easier do not use your quads yet we have to conserve we have to manage your effort, okay? Part of the lesson is when do you use and not use your muscles, okay? When do you use and not use your muscles? You're doing okay. No cars. Still far away. Let's keep it going. Cement part. Very good. Very good. Lower. Keep on going. Keep on going, stay straight, lower, good. Push down, lift up. Good, very good, very good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh shit, you're gonna finish it. High your hands on the hoods. High your hands on the hoods. You don't need to break. Elbows together, elbows together. Tip of the saddle, push down, lift up, come on. Push, down, 
Left. Up, four. Push. Go to the right side of the road. Right side. Okay, hold up. Very good. Right side of the road. Good. Push. Down. Lift. Up. Keep on going. Push. Down. Lift. Keep on going. Push. Down. Lift. Up. Push. Down. Almost there. Almost there. Please, please, please. Don't give up yet. Push. Down. Lift. Up. Easy, huh? Push. I can see it. Down. Lift. Up. Push. Down. Lift. Push. 100 meters to go, girl. High your hands Push. on the hoods. Very good. 20%. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Ah. Uh, five. Four. Three. Two. Done. Woo. It's over. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Woo. You're alive! Beautiful. Okay, I think we're going down. Okay. Huh? We're about to go down, right? Not yet, not yet. Just stay with me, stay with me. Come on. You're doing super good. Stay with me. Catch up. Two gears down. Two gears down. One, two. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Big ring now. Big ring. Big ring. Big ring. Catch up to me. Big ring. Overtake me on the right. Very nice. Follow my line here. Slide back, ah, huh? slide back. Okay, small ring now, small ring. This break, okay? Two breaks. Very nice. Safer, better. And while you're braking, you have to slide back. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. And then release the brakes. Excellent work. Thank you. And then again, brake two hoods, okay? Very nice. We're not gonna risk it today. Very nice. Smiling. Good. Very good. Very good. Slide back on the saddle. The more weight on the saddle, the more weight at the back wheel, the more stable the bike becomes. So now you're gonna start gaining confidence on downhills. Excellent girl. Very nice, I love what I'm seeing. Release the brakes, release the brakes, release the brakes. Release the brakes. Shift to the left. Like the way you're holding the hoods, more relaxed, more balanced. Clear. Let's see, you're not dead, dead. Okay? No, I mean I'm not tired. Good, so we Good. should we must be doing something different today. I think I heard her say two rounds. No God. God. <laughs> Please no. So I think you're doing something I got right. Into today. 100 kilometers. So you're not dead, right? 
I'm not. Okay, so so far so good. So I think we're doing something really, really good. I think we're doing really good if I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Those downhills, uphills, 20%. Very nice. Big ring. Go big to the big ring, ring now. Big ring. Big ring. Okay. Pedal, pedal, pedal. There you go. Easy. So it's all about the gearing combination, what muscle to use, how to hold the bike. So the way you hold the bike on the hoods dictates everything, right? Yes. So slowly, all the left side. Okay, again. slowly, slowly, slowly. Wait. Okay, there you go. Slide back, huh? Slide back. The more that you slide back, the better. When it's not so steep, do not use your quads. Now you know. Just scrape and lift up, okay? Good. Higher hands on the hoods. There you go. Now you look like you're more short, okay? Yes, because we're past jam. So I'm <laughs> short of a lot of things that I'm gonna say a lot. Okay. Congratulations on surviving jamboree. Oh god! That was amazing, man. Was now great. two gears down, one, two. Perfect. There you go. You survived. Super proud of you. Now we're gonna have like a coffee grand day.
Thanks for joining us for Melinda's uh, journey. It's never too late to take a new hobby. And remember, your best bike is the bike that you own. Congratulations. The way you're holding the hoods, yeah, just practice. Scrape, lift up, knees together. Good. So much better. Slide back on the saddle of your back. Don't do this. Yeah. Just crunch it. There you go. Special breakfast, huh? Yes. Wow, to celebrate Mel. Mel's yeah, to celebrate. Uh, certification. Mel, yes. this is wow. for you. Okay. I, I like to think that it's for me, Mel's, so I Mel's be special. Mel's certification <laughs> breakfast. Wow, certification breakfast, just for this one. This huh? Thank fantastic. you very much. So, according to Mel, in six years of her stay over here, I haven't seen. I haven't seen something. Like okay, maybe because you have done the twenty percent reading. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I deserve this. Yeah, this is Thank you very much. This is awesome. Oh, Thank you very much. Uh, Tito Glenn, You're International welcome. Rice Research Institute. This is our first time. Just for the trivia. So before this, because we've never seen you climb, do you normally ride that route? Never. I don't intend to. I didn't intend to, and then we're like, oh gosh, now we have to do jamboree. I didn't know that we were going to do jamboree. I never would have said yes. You would have said yes never. if you knew. Never. Never. Seriously. Seriously. That's how that's how traumatic. I told that you, like even driving a car, I don't want to drive in Jamboree. Driving a car, I don't want to drive in Jamboree. Cause it's too steep. And today, what did you feel? Uh, well, I still don't. Want to <laughs> but I'm so happy I did it. Like, Very good. So maybe cool. you have a potential that, with the proper community supporting you, maybe you can do that. Maybe, yeah. maybe, and especially with the proper. To buy new shoes. Yeah, especially with the proper coffee. Uh, Thank you. Free, we're gonna post a Strava what Melinda just finished. So it's close to amazing from having problems with clipping to literally climbing 20% gradient. So, okay, we're gonna eat Sinan Doming. Okay, so that's uh, Kesel Puti, uh, one of the delicacies over here. Wow, that, that looks is good. this what you call Carabao cheese? No, kesong puti is what? Goat cheese. Goat cheese, right? Wow. Ang kesong puti? Kesong puti is made of carabao's milk. Carabao's milk, okay. This is good. Melinda, welcome to CRZ. So before, what was before? Before, it was very difficult to go up here. It was very, very tiring. Okay. But then when I did chambury, it actually wasn't very tiring. So what was difficult is just like uh, nerves and anxiety of oh, the whole wow. thing. So now, I mean like I eliminated one problem. So just the nerves now. Perfect. So now the nerves can be solved. Okay. Let's try. Very good. So but congratulations like, uh, to you. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. The whole thing is very nerve wracking. Yeah. But so not only did you do the jamboree, the hard side of the jamboree <laughs> today, but well, you also did it, it nonstop. I did it nonstop. Non I think it's effective. I think it's okay. Okay. I don't die. Very if good. it's not effective, I would have said sorry. sorry I think it's sorry. effective. I don't die. Okay. I don't lie. You don't <laughs> lie. I don't lie. So it's would effective. you recommend this to newbies? I would. Yeah, I would. Yeah. And it yeah, all. I, I think the technique is is uh, is effective. Okay. Bike fitting is more. Uh, how do I say it? Okay. The the, the bike fitting is just. The actual bike fitting, right? Like you don't do the ride, which um, is actually how you improve. Um, 
I think to be, when you do bike fitting, you do you do address certain concerns, right? Like let's say uh, there's a certain pain in your body, right. so you make certain adjustments. Um, but in terms of what I appreciated for this one for biomechanics, it's the uphill thing, and it it did make me less tired. I I feel like I did use certain muscles more efficiently, so. You know, I can I can be I can have more endurance, which eventually will lead to speed. I I'm trying to think of if I have the right words. I, I I think I think it's I think it's using what you said. You know, like figuring out um, the muscles that you need to use okay. to be more efficient. To be more efficient. That's a good word. Not not stronger. Efficient. To be more efficient, uh, so that you're less tired. Okay. Um, so, so I think it's, it's effective in that sense. Very good. So we hope to see you more on Jamboree Road. That, I'm sorry. I'm, I cannot promise. <laughs> and because of that, I've done, Tito Glenn, I've done Jamboree. thank you very much for um, inviting us. Pleasure. And uh, recommending Mel. <laughs> I think this was your dream from day one. Tito, Tito Glenn mentioned you as one of the most hidden potential oh God. but couldn't figure out how to unleash that potential i think today was really good but i also want to thank our friends over here who selected the course okay yeah. that's a course designer he's the supporter <laughs> thank you very much and of course tom the the congratulations oh, thank you. tell thank your you sister me. who's still a non-believer to watch her video later i will share the video thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you oh, very much coming to leary Oh. Sir, thank you very much for the hard talk. <laughs> Boya bunda. Um, <laughs> no, no, seriously. Thank you very much. Wow, have a rice day. Yeah, have a rice day. Dude, you know what? Let's go to Manginasal and show them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to have all the rice today. <laughs>